Finally, the big day is here and the expo is open. And I'm here to look at a lot of different products that are being manufactured in China as well as in Europe. I personally like the Chinese made products and I use a Xiaomi phone. So I want to take a picture of this place using my phone. So this is the entrance for the expo and they use like this really high facial identification technology to show your badge without like actually needing the badge. Recently in China there's been this focus on eco energy and uh, how to make the, the environment more sustainable. So as I was walking throughout the expo I noticed that this company Norianco International has this kind of like wind energy turbines that produce green ecological energy and they have this sort of really nice tiny model built here where you can see how these turbines power the nearby apartments. Here I found something quite interesting a real life full-size model of the train you know, I usually get on those trains when I want to go and never late, like they're almost never late. And this model is so good, like it's so well made. It's literally like the same real life train. Speaking about being eco-friendly, a lot of brands have came to rise in the recent years in China about electric, electric vehicles. I know a few of them. Maybe you've never heard about these names, but there's a Xiaopang, there's Omega, there is Geely's cars. Actually, this is one of Geely's cars. It's called Link and Co. And these cars are much more sustainable than the other types of cars. And they're quite cheap compared to their like uh, motor-based, like combustion engine-based vehicles. Here we find another type of electric car. Actually, I don't know this brand. It's my first time seeing this brand. It says that there is called Weima. A few months earlier, I asked one of the people working here, how much does this car cost? And he said around 160,000, which is quite cheap if you ask me. Uh, I have this idea that in the future, I might buy a car like this one and send it back to my hometown to use door works is that you click here and then you grab the knob and then the door comes up. Oh the, the car is actually on. It feels really comfortable. I finally found something that really relates to me that I use every day and I'm excited about. So I'm a big PC gamer. I've never seen a PC case like this in my life. This kind of display is really, really interesting because you have this sort of like a wide vision when you're playing. And I wish that someday I could have one of these in my room. It'd be really exciting to play using one of these. I'm sure that all of you have seen the type of new phones that fold on the market. For example, Huawei has one that also folds on its side. So this marks the end of our journey in the China Central Europe Expo. So it was a good visit here and we saw a lot of exciting things ranging from electronic products. Can I add your webcat? Can I add your webcat? Can I add your webcat? Things that we can use at home, to computers, to cars and I think that in the future after I finish my studies I would like to stay here in Ningbo and like have a more independent life and perhaps start a new one here. That is how I felt today after like uh, exploring this exhibition together. 
like uh, earlier with Lily and now by myself exploring new technologies it's a really good experience being here so I hope that you guys watching us at home could come here next year and join this exhibition and learn a lot about what's inside maybe you find something that interests you something that could truly change your life who knows so until next time see you